What's going on, everybody? So how you doing? So National Signing Day 2015, um, Florida State Seminoles. Um, this is overall a great class. Um, I was a little bummed slightly just because of Signing Day. We didn't get we didn't hit on the big targets who we wanted like uh, Terry Beckner Jr., um, Byron Coward, um, Amon Biggie Marshall, um, and we also weren't able to flip Minka Fitzpatrick from uh, Alabama. But I mean, overall. I'm not going to complain. I mean, this is a hell of a class. I mean, finishing ESPN has us ranked as the number two overall class. Um, so does uh, Rivals. 247 has us ranked as the number three class. Um, so Scout has us as the number two class. You know, so honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm really happy with this. And the guys that we're bringing in are going to be freaking studs. I mean, um, let me just go down the names of these guys. Okay, so Derwin James. Duran James um, is from Haines City, Florida. He's uh, he's a hell of a safety. He's actually the highest rated safety ever in the history of um, recruiting. Um, he's the highest rated. And I mean, I the one thing I love about this kid is I mean, he's been the biggest catalyst for this class. He was the first person to commit in this class. He committed after his freshman year and never wavered from FSU. He committed after his freshman year and just said, I'm Florida State and didn't want anybody else. Um, Jacquez Patrick, um, stud of a running back, six foot three, 233. Um, he's from my hometown in Orlando, Florida. Um, he's going to be a big part of this offense next year. I'm looking forward to that backfield with him, Dalvin Cook, and Mario Pender. He's probably going to take the James Wilder Jr. role and be like that big back. But don't get it twisted. This kid's a big back, but he can also run downhill. I mean, he's, you know, big, long, physical. So I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, Jacquez Patrick. George Campbell. Now, everybody that I'm naming as well, too, these guys were all early enrollees, which is crazy. George Campbell, he was the number one athlete rated in the uh, ESPN um, rankings, also in uh, Rivals rankings. Um, he's six foot three, weighs 195 pounds. He's out of Eastlake High School in Tampa, Florida. Dude runs a 4'3 in his sleep. Um, I'd like for him to learn how to play as a big receiver a little bit better, but this kid's got freakish hands. I mean, he's just a stud. I mean, he's going to get in there, I mean, with Ermon Lane and Travis Rudolph and just just freaking tear it up next year. I mean, he's going to be an impact guy. Um, Calvin Bruton. Now, Calvin Bruton's a little bit undersized right now. Um, he's at six foot. Um, he's 190 pounds. He plays safety. Um, I could possibly see him either redshirting or having to hit the weight program. We're not going to see immediate dividends out of this kid right now. But um, I think that Calvin Bruton will eventually um, turn into a really good player here at FSU. Josh Sweat, man. Now, had this kid not gotten injured, he would have been the number one player in, this, in, in the country. And that's not even a question. I mean, think about this. This kid had eight sacks in two games. Last year, he had 22 sacks. I mean, he had 30 sacks in just his sophomore and junior year. And the number one player in the country this year, Byron Cowart, had a total of like 28 sacks in his entire career. So go figure. Josh Sweat, this kid's long. I mean, six foot five, weighs 240 pounds, freaking runs a 4'4, 39 inch vertical. I mean, just got lateral quickness. I mean, the kid's going to be a freaking stud. And as soon as he gets healthy, watch out, America. This kid will be rushing off the edge. Um, Ethan Frith. Offensive tackle. Um, he was actually part of last year's class, but he had to take a gray shirt this year, um, just because he had to have shoulder. He got injured and had to have shoulder surgery. So FSU honored their word, kept their scholarship for him. So uh, hopefully Ethan Frith can get himself into the mix. I mean, he's a big dude. I mean, he's six foot seven, weighs three hundred and thirty pounds. Um, we'll see. I mean, he's gonna be a little bit of a development project, but we will see. A.J. Westbrook, um, another safety as well, too. He could play corner. He could play safety as well, too. Um, another undersized guy, just Vic Valoria hit the weight room. He's going to be he's gonna be a hell of a kid. Auden Tate, I don't want to call this kid the next Kelvin Benjamin, but this dude has got the body frame of a next of a KB. He's six foot five and weighs 215 pounds. Got hands out of this world, can jump. Um... Got to work on his football acumen, but I mean, Alden Tate, 
Yeah, I think he'll. I really think he'll be a big time player for us. Devonte Phillips, that boy out of Miami Central. Um, Devonte Phillips. Um, he's actually kind of quick and he plays like a big receiver, even though he's only six two, um, two hundred. Um, he had a really great senior year. Um, he's really good friends with Dalvin Cook, and he early enrolled as well too. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the kind of impact. I'm really looking forward to see this receiving core because this year we will not have not one senior receiver. So there's a potential that all of these receivers could be coming back next year, especially, well, because we know that we got Travis Rudolph at least for another year. We got Ermond Lane for another year, and then all these guys, we got them for at least another three years. So um, that's great. Uh, DeAndre Johnson out of First Coast High School in uh, Florida. Mr. Football, 2014. Dude had ridiculous stats in college. I'm sorry, in high school. He's like a second all-time in uh, the state of Florida in passing behind um tucker israel who committed to clemson but i mean the numbers that he put up in high school was a crazy and he was also another guy that committed after his freshman year as well too and he's been a big catalyst of this class so he early enrolled he's gonna get himself into spring and we'll see how he does nyquan murray out of uh also another guy out of my hometown um out of uh oak ridge high school i mean you know, he's five foot ten. I mean, a little bit more of a project, but I mean, we'll see how he does. I mean, the kid's very fast. DeAndre Francois, this one kind of scared the shit out of me because he's committing to, uh, he came, he had his Twitter hack last, last week, and it said that he was decommitting from the University of Florida State, which we all knew that that was BS because there is no such thing as the University of Florida State. So despite everything that happened on his Twitter, he's part of this class, even though the Gators tried to make a push in trying to get him. Abdul Bello, um, kid out of Monteverdi Academy, but he's from uh, Nigeria, an African, big, long kid, can bend, means very athletic. Um, he's going to need some time to develop. He's probably going to have to take a red shirt, but he will be a freak. Cole Minshew, um, the coaches all rave about him. He's an offensive guard. Um, he's 350 pounds, 6'4", six, six, 350, and not overly fat, so... Um, I'm looking forward to him, especially if somebody with that kind of body type. I mean, we'd maybe be – if he can bend, we could probably put him in the center. David Robbins, um, also another athletic guard as well, too. Um, looking forward to seeing how this kid does. I mean, he's also a similar body type. Only thing is he's 320 as opposed to 330. Lorenzo Phillips, jo Juco kid that we just recently picked up. Um, had some troubles down at LSU. Couldn't get onto the field. Um, decided to transfer to a community college out in Mississippi. Um, the Knowles gave him an offer, and he ran with it. Shamar Kilby Lane. Now, I really feel like this dude is probably the most underrated person in the class. There's no reason for this kid to be a three-star recruit. I really think that Shamar Kilby Lane will be, if not one of the best linebackers in um, that we've had in a while, um, definitely a really good one. Shamar Kilby Lane is a really good linebacker. He moves laterally, and he's good. Marcus Lewis. Now, this one pisses off Miami fans because um, a lot of Miami fans expected Marcus Lewis to sign with them. But, um, like, in the fit, in the 11th hour, FSU scooped him up. Even though we had been in talks with him, he decommitted from the Gators and uh, ended up in this class. Jalen Wilkerson, uh, tight end. Um, Jalen Wilkerson, I'm not really expecting him to see too much playing time this year, especially, with, like, with Ryan Izzo and Maven Saunders in there. Or mostly he's just going to be in there to learn the pit opposition. American Heritage boy, Tavares McFadden. Um, his head coach was Mike Rump, so he's been taught very good DB skills. This kid will be on the field as a true freshman playing corner, I really do feel. Um, I feel like he'll be one of the better better corners that we've had. He could be a next uh, Terrell Buckley or, uh, or Devin Bush. I mean, I really feel like this kid is a lockdown corner and a shutdown, and I really feel good about him. Darvin Taylor, um, he probably won't see the field immediately just because, I mean, we are we have enough guys at defensive tackle right now, but, I mean, I'd really like to see Darvin Taylor in the mix. Overall, so this was a really good class, and a majority, like, thinking about this, I mean, we have 21 commitments, and 16 out of the 21 commitments are four stars and above. That is an incredible class. Um you know, we finished, with, like I said, we finished with the second overall class. And I mean, and a lot today, a lot of Seminole fans are kind of disappointed. But you know, guys, keep your head up because the majority of our class was signed long before freaking signing day. 
So, I mean, yeah, we didn't get Byron Coward. Yeah, we didn't get Terry Beckner Jr. And yeah, we didn't get Amon Marshall. And yeah, we didn't get um, Minka Fitzpatrick or Jordan Scarlett. But you know what? At the end of the day, you know, um, J um, not James Winston, but George Campbell sent this tweet out and he said, if you ain't a part of FSU and if you don't um, join us, we'll just kick your ass for the next three to four years. So with that being said, I'm really happy about this signing day class. Um, go Knowles. Um, Tribe 15 is a hell of a class, and I cannot wait to see these boys on the field. Go Knowles.